Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on the service sector. In our previous lesson, we discussed the industrial sector of Ethiopia. We discussed that the industrial sector is small as compared to other sectors. In 2009-10, the sector contributed to 12.9% GDP and 9.5% of employment. The sector has registered an average rate of 10% in the period between 2005-06 and 2009-10. Some of the industrial subsectors are large and medium scale manufacturing, which constitutes 25.5% of the industrial sector. Small-scale and handicrafts manufacturing, which constitutes 14.1% of the industrial sector. Construction, which constitutes 39.9% of the industrial sector. Electricity and water supply, which constitutes 16.9% of the industrial sector and mining and quarrying which constitutes 3.5% of the industrial sector. We also discussed the problems that affect the sector. In today's lesson we will discuss another sector of our economy which is the service sector. Today we will focus on the features of the sector, recent developments of the sector, and the major challenges of the sector. In order to refresh your memory on your grade 11 economics lesson, I want you to discuss with your teacher what the meaning of service is, in order to understand service sector. You have two minutes. I hope you have defined the meaning of service well. Let's now define it together. Service is an intangible economic good from which the society gets satisfaction. The service sector is, therefore, part of an economy that produces intangible goods. Students, now mention some subsectors of the service sector that are available in your area. You have two minutes for the exercise.
Now, let us see some examples of the service sector available in our country that provide various types of services to society. They include wholesale and retail trade, hotel and restaurants, transport and communication, banking and insurance, public administration, defense, education, tourism, health. Students, I hope you have identified the service sectors of our economy. Now, let's discuss the main features of the sector. In 2009-10, the share of the sector in GDP has grown to 45.5%. Over the period between 2005-06 to 2009-10, the sector grew on average by 14.6%. The largest contribution of the sector to GDP comes from government employment. Despite its large share to GDP, employment creation of the sector to the population is low, which is about 10%. Since the adoption of various reforms in the year 1991 in our country, the sector has shown remarkable improvements. Especially, the sector has grown in sub-sectors, such as health, education, trade, hotel and restaurants, transport and communication, and banking and finance. Students, there are various problems that affect the development of the sector. And the problems vary with the subsectors. For example, the problems in health subsector may differ from the problems in education or communication and transport sectors. We will take education and health subsectors as examples and discuss the challenges. Before we do that, I want you to answer the following question. Discuss it with the student sitting next to you. You have three minutes. The question is, what are the main challenges of the education subsector, mainly in primary and secondary education?
Have you made the discussion? Good. Now let me summarize the main challenges of the education subsector for you. As indicated in the fourth education sector development plan, also known as ESDP4 of Ethiopia, the challenges include limited capacity and motivation of teachers and leadership and management of schools. Low female participation, particularly from rural areas and emerging regions. Inadequate teaching learning materials. Serious shortage of plasma TV in emerging regions and maintenance accessories in all regions. Lack of computers and servers in secondary schools. Low quality of school infrastructure and facilities. Now I want you to do the last exercise. Again, I want you to discuss it with the student sitting next to you and you have three minutes for this question. The question is, what are the main challenges of the health subsector? Now let me summarize the main challenges of the health subsector. As indicated in the fourth health sector development plan, also known as HSDP4 of Ethiopia, the challenges include low health service quality, weak referral system, inadequate water supply to health facilities, schools, 
and communities. Inadequate capacity in responding to threats of epidemics such as malaria. Lack of health infrastructure maintenance capacity. Shortage of drugs, medical supplies, equipment, and commodities. Shortage and attrition of highly skilled professionals. Inadequate and inequitable distribution of resources. Students, let's now summarize what we have discussed today. Today, we discussed the following, among other important points about the subsector. We discussed that the service sector is a sector producing intangible goods, such as hotel and tourism, banking and insurance, education, health, transport and communication. We have also discussed that the sector has shown remarkable improvements and is expanding fast since the reform period. We also noted that the challenges of the service sector vary from subsector to subsector. However, the common challenges that affect the quality and availability of the services include limited capacity in terms of human resources, leadership, infrastructure and facilities, information and communications technology, and other systems. In our next lesson, we will discuss population growth. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. See you next time in another program. Until then, it is goodbye from me. Goodbye.